Hi, my name is John Alafnawa. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm going to be talking about a very interesting discovery that I made earlier today. And um, it's it's kind of about GPT models. And I realized that you could actually swap layers of your transformer model. Uh, so models powering, you know, like GPT-4, GPT-3, you know, Lama, they're called transformers. And uh, the way they are structured, you know, we have an input pass through a series of layers. Now, for these layers, we range from like 24 to like 100 layers. And um, input always flows in one direction, right? It goes like from layer zero all the way to like the last layer. And uh, some recent uh, models like the last one, 20 billion, uh, actually match layers from two different models. And it's prompted a question of like, you know, how does the how does that possible and you know is there you know some really interesting properties of like transformer models that enables us to things with the layers that we typically cannot do previously with neural networks and i did uh, you know theorize that you could take layer six in a in a gpt model and swap it into the position of layer 20 and uh you know and the model will work fine without breaking. Now this sounds completely nonsense at first and doesn't like it looks like intuitively, you know, based on like the way neural networks have historically functioned, it looks like it should have been possible. But after a couple of experiments, uh, you know, just like actually trying it out experimentally, I found out that it works. And in this video, I'm going to show the code I used to actually verify that and share a link to the code. And this was like prompted from like some conversations I had on Reddit related to like, you know, JPT models. So I've got this collab notebook here where I have uh, defined some code to load uh, 5.5 billion, which is a JPT model uh, from Microsoft. And this JPT model contains 1.3 billion parameters. It's a really nice model. It's quite small. so very easy for me to like you know just run it and test it out and yeah i have to find like a bunch of code uh which i just like directly you know, copied from uh, the uh game face repo of the model and the really important class to us here is this uh parallel block which you find down here so this is uh the class that represents each individual block in the transformer model so for um uh, 5.1.5, the 1.3 billion parameters are spread across like 24 layers, and each of those layers is this, like, this is like one single layer. Um, and what we then do is here, yeah, we have those layers, you know, all looped here, so we create like about 24 of them, so all the, uh, like 99% of the network suites are like contained essentially in this line, and you know, the way input flows is it goes from the first layer and up to the last layer. And I've defined a function here that swaps two layer positions. Like, so I give it like two positions and then it's going to like swap them, right? So it could swap layer 20 for 10, or layer 15 for 23, layer 5 for layer 15. It's actually just like swaps layers. And of course, this should, you know, completely break the model, but uh, we'll see shortly that that is not actually true for GPT models and the intermediate layers can be, you know, conveniently swapped without actually affecting the model accuracy. And then that's a grand statement and I'm going to demonstrate that it's not actually rubbish. Uh, so here I'm going to like load the weights of the model from Uh Yeah, and load this and load that. This is going to take like about a minute to load. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm defining a simple task of like, oh, calculate it in 5 times 3, which is this thing, you know, basic maths, right? I'm passing this into uh, 5.5 and setting the maximum number of tokens to be 20. They are not something, this is a base model, so you might see extra outputs that's like a bit different from, you know, what we asked it, but it should actually answer our question correctly. Uh, so now I've done, I've loaded the model, I'm going to then try to generate some outputs. So, so, 5 times 3, it should give us, uh, you know, the actual correct answer. Uh, we should be 75, but let's see if that actually works. 
So now, right now it's working and the input is flowing through the layers from zero to the last layer. Normally there's no swapping going on here uh, because I've not yet called the swap function. This is, so this is just like the model normally without, you know, without any modifications. And the, the answer is sent for right, which is correct. And of course, because the base model has all this extra output on zero, which is 20 tokens. And so next up, I'm going to run the swapping function, uh, which is this function uh, defined here. Uh, the way probably I've passed it. Yeah, I've passed it. Uh, yeah, this swap function, right? Which just swaps to the expression. So when I run this swap function, it swaps there. I'm swapping a layer six and eighteen together, which are really for our part layers. So this should, you know, in well, in practice, completely break the model. So I'm going to then run exactly that part. And so, you know, the normal expectation is that the output of this should be complete nonsense. It shouldn't make sense. But um, we'll see shortly, you know, how this actually behaves for a GPT model. And this should take like, you know, a couple of seconds. It's a moment of truth. Loading. Yep, interestingly, it answers correctly. Right, it does 75. Now, notice the, the answers are slightly different. This is like 75, but that's also partly because, like, you know, temperature is 0 0.3, so it's not 0, so, like, you know, it's not uh, like temperature is just a bit of a higher number. But the answer, but it does work fine. Like, it answers correctly, it's able to do math correctly, despite the fact that we just swapped, taking layer 6 of the model swapped its, its position with layer 18. So now the model flows through layers, la, layer 18 first before flowing through layer 6, which is just a completely ridiculous idea, but it actually works. Now, if you maybe want to like, maybe this is a bug in the code that is just actually enabling this to work. So I'm going to do something. I'm going to reload this model so that you know, it loads the, you know, the uh, layers in their yeah, default uh, order without any swapping. And I'm then going to try something that is, you know, uh, like taking the first layer and swapping the fourth last layer. Now, which by the test I've done today, you know, that doesn't actually work uh, because it's kind of like pushing it too far. So I'm going to take layer zero and layer, oh no, layer 23, which is the last layer. I'm going to swap those and then I'm going to run this. And when I run that, let's see if that actually gives us a correct answer or if it gives us more sense, which is, you know, what we typically expect uh, for, you know, swapping any two layers in the neural network. Um, and this should be done soon. And then... Yep. So, as you can see, swapping all the way from first and last layer actually results in complete rubbish as an answer, which shows us that the swapping function is working fine. Uh, so, it's not like there's something, it's not like the swapping function is in no op, so therefore, you know, that's why it's working, but it's actually working fine. You know, to close this, I'm going to do one more test, reload the model again back to its default state, and actually try out like another, you know, two positions just to show that, you know, it's not those two positions that I've just like specified. Uh, and I'm going to share this notebook uh, in the comment section of the video. So you could go ahead, try this yourself, modify it, play around with it, and hopefully discover something that I might have even completely missed. Maybe some really new surprises just like this. Um, and I think it's really amazing, uh, these properties of like transformer models. Yeah, let me swap position uh, 12 and position 18, which are kind of close that bus to two completely different layers. So if I run this, yeah, let's see, I'm like swapping the first and last position, this, you know, should work fine, given just the fact that swapping, you know, layer six and like, you know, layer 21 or whatever, we tried the other time actually work. So these are two different positions again, I'm trying out, which, you know, uh, this works only because transformer layers, you know, identical structure, and then uh, although their weights are different, but somehow that doesn't affect the fact that you know, the the way the input flows through it. 
Uh, yeah, so yeah, this works fine. Right, so this is really a very interesting discovery, and I'm absolutely shocked myself. Uh, the fact that you know we could take a you know layer twelve, swap it for layer eighteen, which completely changes the you know the order in which the input flows through the network, and of course this literally requires a lot more investigation, a lot more research, uh, a paper perhaps on like you know how what this entails and how more you know layers function and how imputes runs through a GPT model. Uh, I'm going to share this notebook. Uh, you could try to produce it yourself, see on the code, and you know verify that this is actually correct. And I've also uploaded it here to this uh, GitHub uh, repo, which I'm going to share as well. And so yeah, it's a uh, super exciting times, and I think GPT models are so exciting because they have whole new properties and new behaviors that before uh, you know was just not possible. I don't think that it's ever been possible before now to actually swap layers in a, in a you know in a neural network model and actually have you know similar results, uh, which is still completely blowing my mind. And um, looking forward to your comments. Uh, happy to answer any questions, and I'm definitely going to spend some more time on this to find out some more answers as to like why this works in the first place.